Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a review and tour of the Aloha Suites Coralejo Fuerteventura. We recently stayed in the preferred club section and this video will give you a tour of the hotel, our room and the preferred club priority section. Come in, come in to room 6236 at the Aloha Suites in Fuerteventura. This is a preferred club suite I think. Um, we've just arrived, um, it's a lovely little room actually and I'll give you a tour. So as you come in you can see you've got your luggage area, we've bought a little bit of luggage as usual. Over here you've got a little table, lovely seating area and then behind us we've got the drink section. So you've got your Crips coffee maker, tea, coffee, um, a fridge. So we're here on an all-inclusive basis and uh, in the fridge we've got some soft drinks, water and a little bottle of Carver which is sweet. They left us a little welcome gift message for the, the Carver so that was cute. Um, if you follow me through here we've got a lovely walk-in wardrobe area with a safe, dressing gown, slippers, extra bedding and plenty of space. Lots of hangers, which I love. Obviously, I always take the hangers off Paul. Um, and then when we come in here, we've got a shower, uh, single sink. It's quite a basic bathroom, but nice nonetheless, clean and bright. Through here, got a nice full size, full length mirror. And we've got this lovely big bed area. Two single beds pushed together, which is a bit unusual, I thought, <laughs> but we can live with that. So we've got two beach towels and the guys at reception told us that you can change them with your card every day and then on the last day you just leave them in the room. So that's great, we'll do that. So we've got a TV over here which is on wheels, which is great. It means you can whiz it around the room, which is cool. And then coming out here, we've got a lovely big balcony with a couple of uh, reclining chairs. And then this is in the preferred club section. So um, apparently this is adults only. You've got a preferred club pool, preferred club bar and you can use this um, I think there's a couple of preferred club restaurants um, a couple of preferred club bars and also apparently an a la carte restaurant that we can book into so you do have to wear a wristband but it says my favorite club so that means you get access to all the adults only my favorite club sections so so far so good we'll give you a little tour of the hotel now so this is the entrance to the my favorite club section you use your door pass and you just tap it here and it takes you into the section that's completely closed off. There's also another entrance at the other end. This entrance walks you through to the main hotel area um, and it's completely separate. There's a bar and a restaurant in here um, and if you want the main facilities then you just walk through down this little path to the main hotel. This is the My Favourite Club Pool, the adults only preferred section. As you can see, there's a jacuzzi pool and a number of barley beds. There's no service by the pool, but there is a small restaurant and bar where you can help yourself to the all-inclusive drinks. This is the My Favourite Club Lounge. If you've upgraded to this section, you can have your breakfast and lunch here, as well as snacks. There's also a great bar where you can help yourself to the all-inclusive drinks. We'll now show you around the rest of the hotel. This is the main entrance to the Aloha Suites that takes you into the large lobby area. The main check-in desk is on the left. There's a My Preferred Club section check-in and check-out and also a bar that's open in the evenings. As you can see from the map, the hotel is huge and there are a number of swing pools and activities throughout. So this is a newbie 
um, a la carte restaurant. You would have seen us eat here a couple of days ago. Um, I believe if you are part of the My Favourite Club preferred section, you can eat here as many times as you want. Whereas if you're in the regular section, I think you can eat here once a week, according to a couple of people that we've spoken to. The food was absolutely delicious. Uh, the menu was really good. And we definitely recommend visiting if you're here. This is La Plaza. There's one of the preferred club restaurants here, the main auditorium where all the entertainment takes place, as well as the main buffet restaurant where breakfast, lunch and dinner is served. There is a further buffet restaurant at one of the main pools. This is the hub of the hotel with loads of activities going on, including different lunchtime offerings outside. We enjoyed the paella on one occasion. Dotted around the hotel are a number of other pools and pool bars. There is plenty of space and we never struggled to get a sun lounger. There's also a kids club and a kids playground. We obviously can't comment on how good they are, but they looked fantastic from just walking past. One of the things that really stood out for Paul and I about this hotel was how beautifully the grounds are maintained. There are plenty of cactus, beautiful plants and shrubbery everywhere you go. Another standout thing about this hotel is that there's plenty of activities on offer. There's sports areas, tennis courts, children's activities, as well as adults' activities. There's also a gym and spa. Paul had a massage on one occasion and really enjoyed it. There's plenty of things for you to do if you're staying here. In summary, this hotel is rated four star. Paul and I would actually give it a four and a half star. We thought it was fantastic value for money, really beautiful, and we'd highly recommend it. If you're traveling to the Aloha Suites, have a great holiday. Take care of yourselves, the WBs.